It is the 10th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight with a story that was sent to me uh, by one of my New Zealanders, uh, who this affects directly, him and his family. Uh, the blog title is called, You're Soaking in It. Um, apparently the New Zealand authorities are testing um, for radiation in New Zealand's mutton birds, which is a, a staple uh, food source for these people. And the, the reason why is these birds fly all the way north to feed off the coast of Japan every year, and they're feeding off the coast of Fukushima, and they're eating the fish and whatnot, and they're flying back down to New Zealand as they do every year. Um, the authorities are testing the feathers and not the bone marrow, so they're just scratching the surface with their tests. And apparently they're just testing for cesium, but they won't, um, they won't disclose what isotope uh, they're looking for, which pretty much makes the testing meaningless. These guys have been testing the rainwater every day for, uh, for over a year now. And when they took these tests to the, the, the National Radiation Laboratory in New Zealand, um, they were basically told that their, their handhold Geiger counters were unreliable. Uh, when they explained to them that a PhD level scientist who specializes in, um, let me get to that real quick, who specializes in radioactive safety and is familiar with the model of the counter used by the scientist B, um, and they basically said, oh well, we can't be certain as the quake has disrupted our testing facilities. Basically, uh, they're blaming their lack of ability to test properly is because of the earthquake back in Christchurch, New Zealand, uh, what, a year, year and a half ago. Um, so basically, the, the cover-up continues, and, and what they're not telling you is that this is a cumulative. This, this, it, it may be safe this year, but those birds go back next year and the year after that, and their chicks have this in, the, in there because it's in the bone marrow, and um, this is a, they're not testing internally, and uh, this stuff is a cumulative. So be very aware of what you're eating, and uh, good luck to you out there in New Zealand. Over to SOP.net. Uh, Japan is poisoning other countries by burning highly radioactive debris. And this is uh, the story I brought you yesterday uh, out of ENA News. Fukushima will start burning radioactive debris containing up to 100,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram. And again, they're going to build these, these incinerators in the no-go zone, in the hot zone, uh, as to um, be able to up the radioactivity and get rid of all that debris so they can make it pretty pretty for the tourists. They're actually talking about moving people back down there. Deadly March tornadoes are first billion dollar disaster of 2012. Uh, I think we're just getting started. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth got hit pretty hard and uh, we've had a lot of tornado activity here in the United States uh, so far this year. It's been a very strange warm um, winter here. U.S. heat records shattered during March, and of course that goes into our strange out of season unseasonable-like weather. A uh, very early spring, I've been fighting with my wife for weeks about uh, let's hold off on the garden a little bit. Uh, not right now, not right now. Uh, over to the RSOE, um, of course they're still dealing with the storm damage in Buenos Aires. Um, the volcano in... Um, Nevado del Ruz volcano showing um, activity in Colombia, of course. Uh, the wildfire starting up in China and the northern provinces. Flash flooding in the Philippines. Uh, Hailstorms reported in India. They're having some severe weather there as well. Uh, tornadoes out of Oklahoma, of course. And um, Anak Krakatau volcano is uh, erupting uh, more than normal. I know it's a very active, active volcano, but uh, it's definitely spearing up and gearing up. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. I'm just going to take it right back to the radiation stuff. Over to the E News. NRC email reveals U.S. nuclear plants used MOX fuel. And you got to remember, this is that, that dirty plutonium-based fuel that burns super hot. Uh, basically, they're taking old Soviet warheads, uh, the plutonium, weapons-grade plutonium, out of there, and they're mixing them up in these fuel rods and burning them in the nuclear reactors. And uh, 
the proof is that yes, MOX fuel is here in the United States. Uh, quote, it was a failure. Ex-Prime Minister Mariyama apologized for supporting nuclear power. Says the government yet to tell public why Fukushima Daiichi crisis occurred. Problem, reaction, solution. And if this guy's your savior, Japan, you're in way more trouble than you think. Local TV radiation in kelp could create a health concern for Southern California seafood lovers. The question we all want answered is how dangerous is this to you and me? Maybe not on that first meal. Maybe not on that second meal. But this stuff accumulates. So by the time you've had your sixth, seventh, eighth hundredth meal, And uh, they're going to blame it on everything but the nuclear in industry like they've been doing since the 60s. Uh, Japan Magazine government planning to build an 88-kilometer wall around Fukushima evacuation zone. But once you pry it in there, uh, it should be way bigger than that. Good Art Journal's analysis says indicates steam explosion at reactor number 3. NRC discusses steam explosion ejecting entire core. And a report 400 plus pages of leaked faxes show Fukushima bosses Yoshida aware plants were damaged by quakes, not the tsunami, much more. Translations needed, so they're going to need help translating all these emails that they just discovered. So the cover-up, the cover-up, and uh, here's the dirt pushing up to the surface. Over to the EXSKF, um, their blog site, U.S. National Academy of Sciences to set up Fukushima Investigation Commission. It has been revealed that the United States National Academy of Sciences has set up an, its own commission to investigate the Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant accident. In the next... Two years, the commission will investigate the cause of the accident and the Japanese nuclear policies in order to improve the nuclear power plants in the United States and the U.S. nuclear policies. They're going to spend two years trying to figure out what exactly happened so they can do exactly nothing about it, if they ever bother to tell us what this unfolds. Uh, OI, Nuclear Power Plant Restart Talk. NOTA administration releases the summary of the cabinet meeting without the names of the attendees. So they're not telling you who's going to decide. They want to gear up uh, these two po these new nuclear power plants, two of them, uh, to get the nuclear industry back up and running because they only got one nuclear power plant in Japan operating right now, and it's about ready to shut down for uh, normal maintenance, and heaven forbid Japan finds out they can do just fine without nuclear power. Can't have that, can we? But they're not telling you who's at these meetings making these decisions, so uh, you can't come back and... and, and prosecute these criminals later. They won't even give you the minutes of the meeting. They won't tell you what's going on in there. Yes, they're going for it. And uh, that's about all I want to cover on there tonight. The last thing I wanted to cover is on the Japanese um, nuclear industry uh, blog site. Science Council decontamination must continue. Japanese scientists are urging the government to continue decontamination efforts in an area near the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant even after residents are allowed to return. The government is planning to allow some residents to return in their homes after radiation readings in their communities drop to 20 millisieverts per year or lower. The Science Council of Japan calculated long-term radiation exposure. The results show that cumulative radiation exposure may reach 230 millisieverts over the next 30 years. Now these are the super lame numbers. More than double the 100 millisievert mark which at cancer risk is said to increase. But the cumulative radiation exposure is likely to drop to about 100 blah blah blah. <laughs> if decontamination efforts are continued for five years after the residents return home. They're sending these people back into the soup. Go clean up your own mess. Oh my god. And you gotta remember, uh, TEPCO months ago declared that uh, any plutonium found anywhere else but on their property is not theirs. 
So uh, the insanity continues. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks for your support.